welcome to Healthy Little Tots with me, Stacy De Silva. Um, I wanted to talk about um, after the fall through with my first surrogate and after the heartbreak and all of that, I really just like put my game face on. I was like, let's do this. I messaged people that I haven't talked to since the beginning of the surrogacy journey, which was like a year or so ago. I got into private groups. I've already been on Facebook private groups for um, surrogates and um, people, intended parents. So I reached out to all of them and like I just kept on, you know, hey, if you know anyone. Even in surrounding states, I became open and willing. I was like, oh, like any of the states next to me? Like, you want to you wanna help me out here? Anyone out there? Um, and what's amazing is I always had my best friend's support. And at that time, she actually became willing to, um, be our surrogate. When she said she was willing to be our surrogate, that was the moment Kevin and I switched from our traditional surrogacy, which is their egg and my husband's sperm, to the idea of gestational carrier, which is getting an egg donor, having her carry it, and my husband's sperm. So we're going to do IVF now, which is great. It's a whole new chapter in our life, something we're going to learn a lot about through the pro process. Um, and we were all separate, but with best friends, there's the pros and the cons. Already intertwined with my life. Fabulous. Trust there. Don't have to worry about the baby being taken away. She's already in my life enough to where auntie so-and-so, our kids are going to call her an aunt anyways. Simple. But there are the cons, too, and we needed to consider that, and really... After talking a few days with her and realizing what's best for her life situation right now is not maybe the best for our life situation right now. I mean, her helping us would be our dream, but she's more important and her life is more important than helping me out. So, unfortunately, after a couple of days, I was informed that maybe they're not going to go ahead with this and... It hurt. I'm not going to lie. I was disappointed. I wasn't mad. I wasn't resentful. I was just bummed, heartbroken. I, two times of being backed out on, and it just really sucked. Really sucked. But I am staying cool, staying calm, staying collective, and I know someone's out there that's, now that we're doing a donor, so many more people are going to be willing. We just need to reach out and think positive. So... Below, I have the pros and the cons of using family members and close friends. If you have an experience where you know somebody who is a family member or a close friend of somebody that carried and it was successful, I love to hear happy endings. And if you're somebody who's actually had trouble and have heard of stories or experienced yourself of, ooh, this, this, this awkwardness, this came up, it was kind of funky, Please let us know. The more we know, the more we can help and change the lives of others out there. So thank you for stopping in. Read the blog below and share with others. Much love, guys. Bye.